Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have a super special edition as we are in Dubai in the Palm Jumeirah and we're going to be shooting a stunning mansion thanks to Absolux contracting and interiors that brought us here exclusively to showcase this beauty. Let the tour begin. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro, ladies and gentlemen. We are here thanks to Absolux Contracting and Interiors who are behind this stunning home that I would love to show you. So let's start right away. If you're looking at it, it's a solid home, three different color tones. You can see the three levels that we will discover, plus the basement, which is absolutely filled with amazing cars, water fountains, and already a sheer elegance to discover. Let's start the tour, come on. All right, we are entering into the home. That's gonna be a huge pleasure, guys. 471 square meters just on this level. It's gonna be a long tour. Get your popcorn and be just as excited as I am. Exploring this home. We have two picture windows, obviously a security door. You might have seen, I used my fingerprint to enter. We are in the center. Right above us, we have a stunning chandelier. Massiero, Italian company, made out of seven pieces and it's just a stunning, piece of art that illuminates the entry right here. Up front we have a mosaic, backdrop, Armani consoles, Baccarat lamps. Maybe come a little bit closer because these are stunning and we're going to be seeing a lot of these throughout the entire tour. The glass work from them is absolutely fab. Now here I would also like to say we have five bedrooms that we will explore so a lot will be seen. Let's start with the main living room. Come on. Wow, this living room is captivating to say the least. Light lit thanks to the Shoko picture window and glass sliding doors. This Panseri chandelier dangling down from this immense ceiling that we have is also elegant, nine meters of height. Something I wanna point out real quick. We got some amazing Bankun Olufsen TV setup here with a sound system that I love so much. I want this guys. So subscribe, like our video so that we can become more popular and one day I can spend 70 grand approximately on a TV setup that opens like this. I mean, come on, this is already showcasing excellence and luxury. Whilst this is opening, I will talk about the gold-leafed Panseri lamps that we have a lot throughout the tour. So maybe we're not gonna put much focus on them now. We should talk about Armani Casa furniture that we have here, coffee table, rug, and the three couches are from them. And voila, the TV went on. Beautiful. Up front, we have the dining area and kitchen. We also have a gathering room right there that I would like to show you. Let's quickly point out that Lutron is the company and system installed from where you can change all the lighting, the curtains, the blinds, all with a push of a button, Daikin air conditioning, and of course, your iPad. It's got everything. I like the art as well, which we see in front here. The art in front, the Carrara in the casing of this 
frame opening as well, which is the continuation of the marble I spoke about at the beginning. Also here, it's just beautifully finished. Reminds me a little bit of Strazzatella. <laughs> yeah, we should call it Strazzatella marble from Italy. Now we have the gathering room there. Let's explore it and I'm gonna take this with me. They call it the gathering room so that when you invite your guests over, they can first come here and get a nice glass of wine served. Let me talk about some furniture and interiorism that we have here. Armani Casa couch, Ottoman and coffee table, as well as the entire wallpaper and the super exclusive Baccarat glass lamps on the wall as well as on the ceiling, which just give a real sense of elegance to the space and basically to the entire house. Not only are they expensive, they have this classic timeless elegance to them and the light shines through them in such a different manner that you just feel illuminated under them. Yep. That's usually what a lamp does. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but hey, no, no, they, they are very beautiful. I they are, say. but there's something I love more. I'm going to have to get rid of this remote. This white mother of pearl countertop in the ball top kitchenette setup we have here is my absolutely favorite. I love it. I've never seen it anywhere ever before. And in the close up, you get to see how the light shimmers in the reflection of this. And it's just, it looks so expensive and luxurious. And it's also backdropped here onto the wall. We have open shelving more Baccarat glass right here. And of course, beautiful LED that illuminates this as well at night, probably making it look very stealth. Now we have some drawer setups here and ice machines, freezers cannot be missing. You know, this is the gathering room. Let's close that down because we also have from Eurocave to wine coolers right here for 120 bottles also with indirect ambient lighting inside and the same setup right over here and i'm sure at night this looks super nice so imagine this full of good wine the light is just gonna make the bottles look tastier if i may to say now last but not least we have this entire little setup here Kalakata stone on the round table. This is the Fendi setup, by the way. So you can come here, play some backgammon, you know, relax a little bit before you continue on to the dining area, which is another example of elegance. And I think we should look at it. So let's go. Now, I really hope from that perspective, you get to see the dimensions that we're talking about. There's a lot of space in this house and the design is so throughout. And I just love these Panseri golden leafed lamps all over the house that just kind of make it so luxurious. I don't know if that's the word to explain it, but it just elevates the space. Dining area, come on. We have these glass meshed dividers here, by the way, that semi close to space. And this would be your dining area. Armani table, 14 chairs and the rug. And of course, uh, this super elegant Terzani setup of chandeliers, also in the shimmering gold color. Patrick, Dominic. come closer because I just want to point out that there is a lot of the backdrop here from Rima Desio in the Sahara color code, right? And right next to it, we get a close up of the Panseri gold leafed lighting system. And that's super nice. I loved the white mother of pearl. Here we have the black mother of pearl backdropped onto the wall and i love it but not as much as i did the one over there because it's a little bit darker and it has a bit more purple in them when the sun or light reflects on them but yeah super nice are these hand uh, like handmade like a mosaic like put together it seems I, like you know? i think yeah they have piece to be piece. so can you imagine the amount of work you had to put in to actually shape each one to fit in together to create this one whole piece of beauty a lot of work. This probably ex also explains the price of these things. Touche. Track lighting above, obviously also recessed in. Sound system from Bankun Olufsen also installed here, which can be controlled through a device that I'm gonna be showing you soon. But before we get to that control device, 
we have two arches here that guide us to the kitchen. Nice casing with the same color, marble as we have seen laid out entirely. And this would be one of the devices I mentioned. It is from Bankun Olusum and it lets you control the sound through a pad here and also from this turning device installed. Yeah, you find it in most of the rooms. Exactly. It's pretty cool. Super nice. And the glass, sort of glass sliding doors with the panels to separate that lets you enter into the kitchen. Let's go. We have Dolce and Cabana seats here, which are pretty awesome. And what I love it really much is that in order to screw the rest together here, they obviously use the screw, but they also use this little magnetic yeah, thing. It didn't leave a hole there. Exactly, just because it's, you nice know, Dolce and Cabana, it needs to be elegant. Antolini marble in the kitchen island. I'll explain that soon. Before I do, let's look into a Gaggenau fridge number one with our water and the milk that we have prepared for ourselves. The freezer is right underneath. This is a Bolthaub kitchen, by the way, if I missed out on saying that, little niche here for your appliances, more Gaggenau appliances above. And as you see, the fridge is nicely inbuilt. There's not a fridge here, but more space for you to store your things. Superb. Now we also have the vitrines here also from Rima Desio, which have beautiful illumination inside. I and find also the combination between Bullhaupt and Rima Desio is a very nice combination. How did you call it, Patrick? Rima Desio? No, Rima Desio. Rima Desio. Rima Desio. And Bullhaupt. <laughs> ja, Bullhaupt. Da. Voila. Same wooden backdrop as we have seen over there. So it's also a nice continuation of that sort. I like this tinted uh, glass as well. The reflective glass is yeah. very cool. And this kitchen is super stylish and I love it. Not because of the Dolce & Cabana themed appliances like this one from Smeg, but because it's just super utile and elegant at the same time. But these things really fit well in this kitchen because there's, it's very minimalistic. And then if you put like elements like these chairs and the mixers and the other, um, like more pop-up colors things, yeah, the pop-up really yeah, well. Yeah, it, it, it's like disruptive in a way, right? Yeah, so but what you wanted to say? Not too much. We also have Baccarat lamps dangling down onto the bar area here. Real quick, this is something I love about Bolthaub because if we, yeah, maybe this one here. In the drawer right here, we have these little containers out of glass from Bolthaub. You can put your peppers in or salts in and they have a shape which perfectly fits into the drawer as well. Soft close. Yeah, ever they, they thought through, all, through the whole way. And design. Gaggenau induction. And if we just press that button, we'll see the extractor coming out of the kitchen island. While it's coming out, have you noticed that there are no sockets here? That's very true. Do you know where they are? Yes, right under here. Maybe you want to show it quickly. Let me just, let's scooch down. Okay, yeah, right here. Your head is in the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the sockets. The sockets are here. But to be honest, to keep it nice and minimal, they have the niches over there where your appliances should go when you want to work with them. So here it's all about cooking something on the induction or using the sink right here with the gassy tabs and this nice rose gold color. Patrick, we forgot another gag in our fridge that we should show our audience, which is right there. If I press the button, it opens. And this one is the big one, the big one, the big freezer daddy. and fridge. And I just love Gaggenau. Such a good brand. More appliances to be found here. Dishwasher number one, dishwasher number two. And of course, this entire counter top area with another sink. This will be your working space. More of a functional setup here from Bolthaub. It's again. Seasoning, put your oregano in here. It's done by them, beautiful. Pop it back in. Open the other one, it's even better. Yeah, this one's really neat. It's your cutting board. Now you can even move it out. Or take it. it out uh, completely. Yeah, take it out completely for it to be washed. A 
And once you're done with it, it's also electrical plugs, by the way, you simply close it. Got more storage space above. Fantastic. And that's basically it. We have more open shelving there, you know, put some nice pictures of your children on it or whatever floats your boat. Cooking books. Or cooking books. Now, there is a dirty kitchen that is absolutely epic and it's right there. And I'm going to explain all about it once we're in there. So let's go. This is a fur dinkum dirty kitchen. I don't know if we should even call it dirty because this is Bulthaupt custom made as well. We have two Gaggenau gas cookers right next to each other. Pando industrial style extractor right above a sink, more Gaggenau appliances right here, as you can see. Voila. And above as well. And what cannot be missing, more fridges. Gaggenau fridge number one, and then you would have the freezer right here. A fantastic kitchen, and to be honest, the perfect space to get all your cooking done so it doesn't stink up the kitchen and the rest of the house. Very clever. Fantastic. Prima Desio Dosa everywhere, by the way. And they're super light and they're not out of wood. And the casing is in the same color code as the doors. They're actually made out of glass. Glass, like a weird yeah. glass combination. How they're super light. Yeah, they are. And now to my favorite guest bathroom, powder room, right there. Beautiful. I mean, this is just a guest bathroom, a powder room. And we have so much going on. We have the two sink vanity here and it's Murano glass. It's from Glass Design Italia, by the way. And it is a stunning sink. And we're gonna be seeing so many beautiful sinks throughout the entire house that I just wanna pick one up and take it home. That's how much I like it. We have Gassy taps as well on the same kind of rose gold coloring, the backdrop, which is in the same color code as the taps. Baccarat lamps dangling down, nice porcelain backsplashed everywhere. And of course, can't be missing, is your toilet here. Also, super stylish, clean pocket door to close the space down. And voila, this is a stunning powder room. Probably one of the nicest I have seen. Let's continue. You're probably seeing it already. It's this grand antique marble that we have plastered onto the wall here where the elevator is found. I'm just gonna press, maybe I will open it later actually. It's beautiful, grand antique marble from Italy. It's a very playful marble with a lot of thicker veins. The Pansari gold leafed lamps as well. And we're gonna be taking it later up. But before we do, let's look at the first bedroom we have here. Just love these doors, by the way. And the same coloring goes on the Rimadesio clad of wood here, and the division is also from the same color as the door. So the continuation of the style and design is so throughout. Once again, we have Armani Casa bed, side tables, furniture in this room, and a stunning backdrop behind the bed frame as well. This room was inspired by the desert, so it's got the same kind of color codes as you would expect in a desert. Nice chandelier hanging down from above. This is quite interesting because it's two mirror sets up from Fendi and they kind of distort it. It's quite trippy if you look inside. You see yourself sometimes, but then you see yourself zoom out. I know it's, it's spacey, I like it. Now, there we have the boffy walk-in closet. Before we go to the bathroom, let's quickly look at it. Pocket door and close the space down again. And if you go a bit further, we'll see another bank on all of some TV setup and also the baseboards here from the same Italian marble, the Carrara Veneziano. Beautiful how it's been finished just to continue the elegance. There we have the toilet. But before we get there, once again, Panseri gold leafed lamps. Beautiful, just sets the tone. Let's look at this bathroom, it's also really nice. All right, this is stunning. I absolutely love it. We have a two sink vanity set up here. These beautiful sinks from Glass Design Italy. It's actually Murano glass, so it's high-end, just to say the least. Gassy taps and fittings in this like brushed 
golden color. Let's open one of them here, the drawers underneath. Artelinia are the ones who actually made all the cabinets for the sinks and it's just a beautiful piece. We have also Italian porcelain plastered on the floor as well as the walls. Not to forget Bancon Olufsen system in here as well. So if you want to shower and pump up the music, you can do so. And a barn glass sliding door that leads you right into your shower area. And I have to say, this is super spacious. You have the rain shower from above, traditional shower, and once again, the taps and fittings from Gessie, which are just ultra elegant. Now, right there is the toilet. Let's just scooch over real quick to get a good look. Cabinet here to store your toothpaste, toilet paper, things that look ugly to the eye. And a smart toilet, which with the remote you can, you know, do your things. Not gonna go into details. All right, that was it for bathroom number one. There are gonna be many beautiful bathrooms, so stay tuned. Bedroom number one, check. Now let's put a real good focus onto the staircase, but before we do, I'm gonna show you a stunning floor that is being put into the elevator that's also been imported all the way from Brazil, just like the Mother of Pearl. And th that's the one. And it's got little caves inside. I don't know, so much is happening there, it's beautiful. The elevator is also stunning. You're seeing it in the detail shots, but I don't wanna take the attention away from the staircase and the stunning pattern and the illumination that goes on on each stair when you head up the pattern of the marble is so dynamic so much is happening here I like the black mirror as well the reflection is just amazing yeah it's slightly tinted as well beautiful and you also have armani casa wallpaper entirely all the way up to the first floor before i go there once again baccarat lamp right here it's just a statement piece, to be quite honest. And now I say let's go upstairs. We have the entire first floor with four bedrooms to show you. So let's go. Another Baccarat lamp right there. So ladies and gentlemen, this would be bedroom number one. Let's explore it together. Another beautiful bedroom. This one's bigger than the ones we have seen so far. Armani Casa furniture is throughout once again. And we have these really crazy Fendi mirrors going on right there. And a nice little chandelier set up here. And this is the entire backdrop that we have seen already below that also serves as open shelving and obviously maybe a little working desk right over there. And behind this door, which is kind of hidden, we have the bathroom, so let's look at it. A continuation of the style and design we have seen already before. Two sink vanities here. I just love that it's Murano, the Gessie tabs, floating vanity, glass sliding, barn style doors. I just, maybe a little bit of a close up here. Even the handles from Gessie, this like golden color, it's beautiful. And there, once again, the same setup, storage, bathroom, the remote to do all the interesting stuff you can do with the high-tech toilets that we have in this house. Let's continue. Before we leave this room, we have a boffy walk-in closet with a pocket door right here. And leaving the space, we shall continue the tour and see three further bedrooms but just want to point out once again, Bank on Olusum TV setup is here. And it can be moved in case you wonder why it's so like. Uh, of course. But automatically, don't touch it. Really? The button, it just. What a posh service. Opens up. Cool. All right. And wallpaper from Armani Casa as well, just to finish off the style and design of the room. Let's go to bedroom number two on this level. This one is even bigger and in my opinion, even nicer. I'm just gonna point out once again that this is Armani Casa bed, pillowcases, bed framing, the Ottoman here. We also have a nice little lounge chair there, TV setup. Once again, the Panseri golden leafed 
lighting system, Banco Nolo, some television, this entire console, which, you know, you can just open like this. And it's also from Rima Desio. So a perfect flow. And you have Rima Desio paneling here as well with the subdividers. So it's repetitive. It, all the rooms have the same sort of style and design, but the color coding changes and it does have a different theme. This one also has a terrace that you can access and beautiful lighting system from Terrasani once again with these little bulbs dangling down. And the bathroom. Rima Desio pocket door into this beautiful bathroom. Here we have a one sink vanity, the Murano. Once again, Gessie taps and fittings and beautiful Italian porcelain plastered entirely here, except of the ceiling, of course, but we also have nice little molding at the edges above. Big mirror. Oh, wow, this is also super nice. Gessie as well, the towel holders within the same color code as the taps and fittings. And of course, your shower right here with this stunning handle, which I previously spoke about, which I really love. And when you walk in, a lot of space, as you can see. And the hinges even are within the same color code as the rest. That's not it, because you also have a walk-in closet. Oh, I like it so much, soft close. I'm gonna take my shoes off for this one because it's carpeted, nice and elegant. To show you guys the depth that we have here indirect lighting as well everything is present superb that's it now let's continue to another bedroom Shoes. i'll leave them there let's go all right now before we head to the other bedrooms there is also wow by the way the view down here to your former living room area you actually get to see the sheer dimension of the chandelier as well it's stunning but anyways here we have a tv room which is fantastic it's right in the center there's also a really big private cinema room upstairs. But this is more for your kids to come and, you know, watch a little movie before they head down. Now let's talk about some details here. We have Marble Terry, the Bolgeri, wall feature right there, Minotti sofa, and Fendi Casa coffee table. Furthermore, we also have this entire setup, which is a little kitchenette, also from Bolthaub, with a microwave from Gaginau, a fridge underneath, a super nice golden sink from Gassy once again. And this can be closed down in case of need. Voila, super. And a Fendi lighting lamp right there. So elegant. Now you can also close this space down with these sliding doors. And you've got this mesh inside of it, which kind of breaks the visibility inwards. Very neat. Indeed so. Now we also have on each of these columns the Panseri gold-leafed lamps, just to remind you of the sophistication of this level. We have the main bedroom there. We're not gonna look at it yet. We're gonna look at this one first, so let's go. Now, as you can see, the style and design is throughout. It's really consolidated in this house and I love it. This is a bit more beige slash golden color palette, which is fantastic. Bank on all of some TV setup is also here the baseboard continuation as i explained already once here we have the boffy walk-in closet maybe a quick look if you actually come inside because i don't think we showed it in the other tours you do have a mirror set up right there which is very convenient in the pocket door do you see it of course cool right i'm gonna go back outside because we have a fendi couch as well as the side tables from fendi here big window bringing natural light and we actually had to put the rollers down controlled by Lutron the system that I explained at the beginning the entire back wall here is with the Rimadesio wood that I explained before and discreetly hidden you wouldn't even know there's a door is one there's a door that leads you to the bathroom here the same applies the continuation of the style and design is throughout we've got the same one sink vanity setup with the Murano glass, the Cassie, taps and fittings, a shower with the barn, glass sliding door, and right there, the toilet. So that's it, let's continue. Now we're gonna be showing you the last bedroom, which is the main bedroom of the house with the most beautiful bathroom I have seen. Let's go. The biggest room 
and kind of the nicest room not only because of the golden sort of chandelier dangling down but also because you have view outwards to the waterfront as well as your own terrace area big bed right in the middle the same wood clad separation on this side next to your bank on all awesome tv setup the console underneath everything is with the touch of a hand it all opens and you have a lot of storage spaces here and the indirect illumination that goes throughout now i really want to show you guys of the bathroom but before we do we have once again the mesh inside this glass sliding pocketing door that also welcomes you inside to your walk-in closet with the same bank and all of some music system upstairs the little middle console here and it continues inwards there where you just have more space to put your shoes for instance nice indirect lighting led installed fantastic and you can also open a window for more natural light let's continue patrick what do you think favorite more, bedroom more so far space favorite more. bedroom so far yeah for sure you think yes it's my favorite for sure my favorite is this bathroom let's look at it okay i'm not gonna lie my favorite bathroom i just absolutely love the porcelain tiling that's laid out throughout here we have a two sink vanity setup the sinks are just out of this world once again from glass design italy murano and they work so perfectly in correspondence to the coloring of the porcelain the tabs and everything else it's just a beautiful fusion of colors here we have the same drawer setup i mentioned before with the soft clothes and the led light that pops up you've seen that toilet and a shower maybe just open this one once again the hinges in a more rose gold bronze coloring like the rest and super spacious this is stunning as well and unfortunately you can't touch things you can't feel the weight watching the video but just trust me this is heavy duty shower head stunning gonna close this because we also have one this bathtub clawfoot bathtub you can't just get them ordinarily you have to order them and they will be custom made for you with the mosaic tiling that once again is in perfect harmony with the color coding of the rest we have here a tersani chandelier dangling down that also reflects the color super well and a little section for you to powder yourself up with a makeup mirror so all in all a superbly elegant and beautiful bathroom not to forget here once again we've got the sound system from bank on olufsen and this amazing controller here wow let's continue we have seen all five bedrooms that this house has including the main bedroom let us know what you think of it in the comment section below now let's continue because we still have so much to show you the third floor with a private cinema a gym area a spa area an outdoor area then the garage with beautiful cars then the outdoor area with the main swimming pool so wow let's continue i'm gonna be taking maybe the lift this time just to once again put focus on the beauty of it and in the meantime as it's coming up do let us know what you think of the house so far in the comment section uh, we came all this way to dubai just to shoot this home for you guys so putting a lot of effort into it so do give us a like and do share this video with everyone whom you know and now i'm gonna go upstairs see you in a bit right before we look at the gym there is still an office space that i forgot to mention there's a lot of rooms a lot of square meters in this house happens to everyone now look at this bentley inspired office what do i mean with bentley inspired all the furniture here comes from bentley this is a bentley inspired room i would call it a bentley room the two lounge chairs are from bentley nicely embroidered in the leather pillow here you also get to see the bentley sign this is a president's desk with nice natural wood and the finishes are just as good as the Bentley cars. As you can see, you have this waterfall feature, so they bend it the wood as well, and it perfectly bends down. 
here natural stone backdrop as well tv setup once again the same light system as we have seen from tersani before fantastic ottomans from bentley and this bentley seat oh i just want to sit down so how does it feel i feel like a million dollar to be quite honest how are you doing really nice chandelier set up above as well here giving you the light that you need and it's from panseri shelf here this is a little safety room let's look inside reinforced door and this could be your cigar room watch room because we have these two babies here as well which are your safe from Duckling, German company. And what they also have inside are the winding machines for your automatic watches. And you can store whatever you want here, lock it and continue with life. And this is suede, really, really, really elegant. Yeah, it's crazy. Not only that uh, Dubai is a very safe place to be, this room is probably the safest place in Dubai. <laughs> It's a double safe. You're double safe in here. Or triple. First the house, then this room, and then the safe. And Dubai. And so Dubai. four. Yeah. This office space also comes with a completely different looking bathroom. The two sink vanity setup with the drawers underneath is present. We have the guesty tabs, different backdrop here, two mirrors, and of course a different porcelain stone that is throughout. Here you'll see it better. That's where the toilet is situated. Continuation with the Gessy tabs and fittings and handles here. And that porcelain stone, which is also plastered onto the walls. And here we've got the same wallpaperish material as over the sinks. I think the porcelain goes really well with the tiling of the wall. Yeah. Because the porcelain has some like of the golden veins and then these like bronze looking tiles it's, it's very, very nice. subtle do you know what i mean like this entire color palette here is super subtle i'm like, very subtle like you <laughs> like you said you have the same two color tones within it but you kind of have to look for them it's super cool now i would say gym time so let's go which is right here wooden panels laid out entirely this is a techno gym setup now I am someone who does go to the gym, but Patrick's more of the expert. So come on, give us a little, you know, explanatory tour. What do we have here? Techno gym dual adjustable pulling, upper body pull up, everything you want to do. Stop. With. You're just reading the labels, man. I just realized it's a multi tool. No, a dual adjustable pulley. And <laughs> whatever that means. And next, next is a. Techno gym rack it with is. everything you want. See, there's no labels for you to read, so you're not that funny anymore. Are no, you, it's Patrick? just a rack. We have for some sports, free weights here and beautiful views of the skyline in front of us. This is a smart box with more dumbbells, Patrick. If you pointed out here, yeah, more weights from dumbbells. Techno gym as well. Glute builder, oh, little yeah. Pilates section here. Once again, the Banco Nolos from TV setup, a little bulltaub kitchenette thing going on here. Gonna take water, eat an apple. You've got everything you need and your running machines right there. Which is crucial because in Dubai, the heat is immense. And then I think you will not be able to go running anywhere else. Let me rephrase that. In summer, in a short period of time, it gets very hot here. The rest of the time, it's very nice temperature. And we've actually saw people run yesterday, regardless of the heat. So yeah. you got to do what you got to do. You got your techno gym stepper and running machine as well as the bicycle. I'm sure people watch too much Goggins. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> right here, we have another beautiful room that we should explore. Here we have a very tranquil, set of colors to be honest this is your massaging room by the way this is from nilo it is self-massaging so you can lie on it and actually start squeezing you and 
moving you around. I've tried it, it's amazing. But yeah, coming back to the color palettes here, we've got the Onyx pink that we see right here. And I love how they went for this kind of color combination because it's very soothing and relaxing. We have a one thing vanity set up here. And of course, a really cute bathroom shower area here. Compacted into this room. Got the Gessy taps and fittings once again. Toilet and your very unique and different looking sink here. This we actually have not seen. I think it may be quartz and a pocket door to close the space down. Voila, we're not done yet because we also have a hammam here. Voila. With a beautiful star ceiling. So you have these little LED dots in the ceiling. So at night, when you look at it, you kind of feel like you're outdoors observing the universe. I like it. Cool, right? What do you think so far, Patrick, of this room? Very neat, I like it. What about this section we actually missed out? In case you wanna get your hair cut, I'm pretty sure you can do that here or freshen up in front of the makeup win uh, window, I was gonna say makeup mirror we have present here. Fantastic. You might be wondering, why am I always closing the doors? Because there's air conditioning running and we just like to keep each room cooled. Now this is a stunning one, let's look. Oh, what a fantastic cinema room sound isolated thick door that closes you in here you've got a lot of space as you can see the reclining seats at the back and a big couch here wow so patrick fill us in a little bit we have very specific things here yeah like you have mentioned before the walls are acoustic walls by uh, kami raug and I see company from uk isn't it? yeah and the acoustic ceiling with the stars which you may see a little bit now, is by Knauf, also a very well-known company. And what can of, of course not be missing is a sound system done by Kef. Kef sound system, they're actually a really good company. So, I'm, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually watched the movie here earlier. <laughs> so the sound system is amazing. Yeah, we also have a Bulthaupt kitchenette set up here. If you bring the camera a little bit closer, I can show that it has a fridge. You have drawers and closets here. And of course, get ready for some popcorn. It cannot be missing when you are watching a movie. And everything's also laid out with a carpet, a very thick carpet to isolate the sound. All in all, a perfect room. And I love that this has been integrated into the house because it really pushes the boundaries of luxury when you have a private cinema room. Oh, it does. That's it. Now guys, Let's continue the tour. There's a lot still to see. <laughs> Before we leave this space, we also have a really cute powder room right here. Not a bathroom. I, th I don't see a powder table here. Oh, Murano mm. glass, Gessie tabs, nice mosaic here. In contrast to the more veiny porcelain backdrop toilet. Terra Sani light sculpture dangling down. This time in silver instead of gold. Well noted, Patrick. Well noted. That's why You're I'm here on for. fire today. Let's check out the outdoor terrace that we have here as well. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. I say you're ready because it's really warm outside today. Let's go. Oh, what would you do without shades, ladies and gentlemen? This is the upper terrace to be used exclusively after your training, suntan, relax. You've got outdoor furniture by Ketal, water fountain and stunning views out. We have the old Atlantis right there. Are you getting it, Patrick? Yep. And the new Atlantis to the right there. And just a really peaceful view outwards. Furthermore, if you want to tank in some sun, you do have some sunbeds right over there as well from Ketal. And that sums it up for this floor, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to be showing you what else there is downstairs so let's go <laughs> wow it's quite hot outside today and so refreshing to be inside air conditioning is running full it is a really good air conditioning system it cools down the house and it's a real pleasure to be inside now i'm going to be showing you guys a stunning garage full of 
beautiful toys. See you down there. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in the basement. We are closing in on the tour, but before we look at the really cool garage, which is one of the sexiest garages we have seen, let's skip to the boring part, which is your laundry room. But hey, a house as such cannot be missing a laundry room. You have two sets of each, a dryer, a washer, this epic steamer I presume for it's your suits yeah for your suits i need one of these for my house super cool thing obviously sink a lot of space to store your things for the bins and then of iron course roller is quite cool an iron roller there's a lot of things happening here obviously more spaces you need so much spaces when you have a big house as such to store your things into and voila that is it and now to the really exciting part, let's go! Alright guys, this is absolutely beautiful! Now, I don't even know what to say. It's the first time we have seen a garage filled with so many exotic cars. But before I go into detail about the cars, guys, having an underground garage in Dubai in the Palm is already a luxury. And to be quite frank, very limited homes offer such humongous space. I'm pretty sure we could fit in another two cars here. What do you think, Patrick? For sure. Two at least, if two, not even four. Two cars here, maybe four if you squeeze them in. All right, I can't put my focus away from this beauty. It's a Koenig's egg and it just looks like a bullet. And this is your favorite car, isn't it, Patrick? It is, for sure. Tell us why. The color and just the Koenig's egg always have been, for me, one of the type of cars I would buy if I could. This is absolutely beautiful. And it's got this like bright aubergine color with golden stripes, stunning. If you come a little bit closer, Patrick, we also have an electrical plug here. I don't know, it's kind of a downturn after seeing all the V8s and V12s here to talk about electrical cars. But if you do have one, you've got the plug right here. So very intelligently, just plug it in and business is done. Furthermore, we also have the Ferrari Pista right here. Apparently it's a limited edition, one out of one. I'm not really good with cars, but I do know that this is beautiful. So <laughs> I can say that with... The color is beautiful. Yeah, the color is insane with the black elements. You've got the carbon here. It's just a sick car. Now we also have maxi tiles laid out completely. There's a drainage there, so you could even wash your car inside of the garage. Let's quickly just talk about the cars because we have another Ferrari here and my absolute favorite, which is the Mansory McLaren right here. This one really looks like a bullet. And yeah, I just want to put focus on to the fact that when you buy yourself a home in the Palm in Dubai, of course you're gonna have cars which are luxurious. So having an underground garage space is just the most important thing you can do, especially with all the temperatures that you have here in Dubai, which exceed 40, currently 42 degrees but we are here in the hottest time. Now we also have this here, which is your garage opening, which Patrick so kindly will press the button and it's gonna be opening for us. As you can see, the drive-in is already spectacular. You're probably gonna see it at the night as well with the illumination from the LED strips, giving you that guidance into the uber sexy garage that we have here. Now guys, the time has finally come to bring you guys up to the first floor once again and show you the outdoor area, the swimming pool, the chill out lounge, the outdoor kitchen, which we haven't yet done, so let's do that now. Beautiful Shoko windows, by the way, they slide open and the railing is also nicely installed within so you don't trip over it. Now this is your outdoor area. We have a really elegant sunken down pit where you can come and chill a fireplace right there. To my left, we have sun beds, a jacuzzi inbuilt into the swimming pool, a shower and a beautiful bathroom with blue tiles and just outside a bar area. Let me take your attention 
to this place here, we have uh, the sunbed sunken into your infinity swimming pool, a lounge area just adjacent to your dining area, and of course, this entire shaded place with automated pergola, so you can open and close them whenever you want, couch setup, coffee table, and your dining area of fresco right here with beautiful views outwards. Little sink setup and this stunning outdoor barbecue kitchen area. We've got a Boretti barbecue grill, numerous fridges, wine fridges, and of course an entire countertop on which you can work and prepare your food. A champagne sink right here, all with this nice stone laid out throughout. Perfect. You can also walk around the house that way and come back to the main front of the house. At this point, I would like to say a big thank you to Absolux Contracting and Interiors, who brought us here, especially from Marbella, to shoot this stunning home they have created. They've been fantastic hosts. Hospitality was spot on. We had a great time discovering Dubai and shooting this beauty. So if you are interested, we also left the contact details of Absolux in the description of today's video. And with that said, guys, give us thumbs up, like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. All the best from Dubai. Yes, guys, thank you very much. Like and subscribe, like my brother said. Stay tuned for more to come up, also from Dubai. And it was hot, as you can see. We are in August, so Jesus Christ. Patrick, this pool is heated and it can be cooled. Exactly. So maybe so we should cool it and jump just, in. Just jump in, exactly. So guys, peace, enjoy, and stay tuned. Bye.